What's up guys, Jason from Thin Line Defense and today we're going to be going over the Bull Armory Axe Full Size Tomahawk. Now, Walsh did a pretty in-depth review of this uh, of this firearm already on the channel. I'll put a link to that up here somewhere. So if you want some, some additional details or some more in-depth details, you guys know how, how in-depth Walsh uh, uh, goes into firearms. Take a look at that video. This video is not gonna be a review. More so it's gonna be kind of the feeling that I get with this firearm being a, a Glock user myself. And what I mean by that is, is Walsh is not a, a Glock person. He doesn't own a Glock. He doesn't own anything that's similar to a Glock. He's a SIG guy through and through. So uh, as he's as he was reviewing this thing, he really had no basis of knowledge to uh, to bring his his thoughts to you. And he thought someone like me that has years behind a firearm, both uh, uh, personally and professionally, I'd have some some different thoughts. And so. This video is not necessarily a review, but more of my thoughts being a Glock user. So this will be much shorter than, than Walsh's video because it's not gonna be as in depth. It's just gonna be my thought process behind, you know, how this thing feels in my hands. Overall, compared to a, a standard out of the box Glock, this thing is, is far and away better with, with one, I'd say kind of major exception. The magazines. Um, I think the magazines that came with this are like some type of KCI Glock knockoff mags. Um, my only thing that I would say you would need to do if you were to purchase one of these would be to get some actual Glock OEM mags. Even the the Magpul mags or heaven forbid ETS mags would be would be better than the mags that they they include in this. In my opinion, the one caveat to that. The base plates on the Bull Armory magazines are out of this world amazing. I'll show those off here. All right, so anyone that shoots Glocks or has been around Glocks a lot, um, you might, I've heard this referred to as a Glock bite. I get a really high grip on my, my Glock. Um, I kind of have these chubby hands, kind of elastic skin, and so, um, I pretty regularly when I'm out shooting my, my actual Glock or any of my Polymer 80s, um, I'll get what's referred to as a Glock bite. So the slide will come back and it looks like I got a snake bite right um, on the swell between my, my thumb and my forefinger. And it's just how I hold it. I hold it so high, there's no real aggressive beaver tails on, on Glocks. And so that slide comes back and usually by the end of a, an eight hour day out on the range, my hands, you know, red or, or bleeding. Now with this thing, after being on the range all day today, I had zero issues with that. The, the beaver tail on this is, is excellent. It allows me to get a really good high grip that I like on my Glocks without having to worry about the slide coming back and snapping me in my, my hand, causing me to bleed. Now, Walsh talked about the, the ported barrel and I did find that uh, that definitely helped with recoil, although I don't think of of Glocks traditionally as a, as a gun that has, I don't know what you would call it, heavy recoil. Um, so the ported barrel, I don't know if that's really needed here. Uh, I'm not also not one to really like compensate, add-on compensators on, um, on full-size pistols. I don't know. I've never really studied it. Um, one thing, I, I might be misremembering this, I don't remember if Walsh said it on his video or if he talked to me about it. Again, might be misremembering, but I thought he was saying that he had an issue with eventually after shooting this for, you know, for a day of gases coming out and kind of hit him in the face. Um, again, I might be misremembering this. It might be a figment of my imagination. I didn't experience that at all being on the range today. Um, the ports were fine. I did feel like they, they did help, not significantly, but a little bit with recoil. Um, if that was a major issue, the nice thing about this, it takes Glock Gen 3 parts. So I would just put a standard Glock 17 barrel in this thing and hey, you're off to the races, you're ready to go. 
Now, one of the things that was highlighted to me as I spent time with Walsh out in Nebraska and Ohio, when he was shooting the PSA well, the, micro uh, dagger, yeah. and I don't remember if I put this in my video, but I remember I had this on recording where he was doing some reload drills with that thing, and he was just He's like, man, the, yeah, the, the magazine not. release to him was so okay. weird. It was such a weird, I don't know, place for him, or just the, the pressure wasn't what he was used to. It just, it's not normal for him being a SIG guy. For me, not that big a deal. It's very similar to, to all the Glocks that I've shot in the past. And this is right up there. I mean, it's, I think all of the controls are aftermarket controls. The mag release was, was feels like, a, like an aftermarket Vickers magazine release. It felt really good. Um, it didn't hold up on any of the mags that I tried. I had ETS mags out there. I had Glock OEM mags. I had some Magpul mags. No issues with any of those. Okay, in my opinion, if you're getting involved in, in Glocks and, and putting aftermarket accessories on these things, sometimes the juice isn't worth the squeeze. What I mean by that is these are what would be considered aftermarket parts for a, for a Glock. The slide release, the takedown, the trigger, the magazine release. And compared to a, a out-of-the-box OEM Glock, in my opinion, not that big of a difference compared to what Glock sends on their gun standard. You know, is it is the takedown a little bit bigger, easier to grip than a standard Glock? Yes. Is the uh, slide release a little bit bigger, easier to, to hit uh, than the OEM Glocks? Yes. Ma same with the magazine release. Um, but I don't think you're gonna see that big of a difference over the Glock OEM. The one point that's not like that is this trigger. This, now, let me caveat this, that I am a flat-faced trigger fan. And man, this trigger is just absolutely fantastic. I, I love it compared to your standard Glock. It feels like a, like a CMC trigger. Um, maybe even like my Zev trigger that I have in one of my, one of my builds. Um, so a great aftermarket trigger. The other thing that's really interesting to me and, and kind of amazing is the price point that you get this thing at. If you were to go and look at the price point of a, a standard Glock and then look at what it would cost to put an aftermarket trigger, a slide release, uh, takedown lever, different pins, ported barrel, get a ported slide, RMR cut, you're talking about probably $1,000 plus into that Glock. You're gonna get all of that for significantly less than that, for, for a couple hundred dollars more than what you would pay for a, a Glock right in a store, you can get this Bull Armory Axe full size. And again, similar to uh, a Glock 17. In fact, it fits all of my Glock holsters that I have, which was awesome. Uh, sometimes when you deal with like Polymer 80 or some of the other aftermarket Glock wannabes, they may not fit in the holsters as well. This one had no issues fitting any of my holsters. All right, so my final thoughts. If you are in the market for a Glock and you want to invest some some additional money into maybe getting it stippled differently or or putting an RMR cut on it or putting an aftermarket trigger, all of those things, especially if it's all of those things, I would seriously give the Bull Armory Tomahawk uh, a look. Now, people say that that these are very hard to, to purchase, um, and that's, that's true. That's probably the hardest thing about them is just being able to obtain them. I think if you were to sign up for email alerts, this specific one, the, the full size, was in stock and stayed in stock for like a couple weeks. People are really looking for the 2011s, but don't sleep on these Tomahawks, man. They are fantastic at the price point that you can get them at. But that's it for me, guys. I really appreciate your time. Hopefully my dog barking on the other side of the garage wall isn't, isn't too loud in this video. I wanna say thanks to all of our Patreons, all of our YouTube subscribers. You guys are fantastic. Truly appreciate the support that you guys have given us over the years. And uh, thanks to everyone that likes, comments, and subscribes. Comment down below, let me know what you think of the Bull Armory 
full-size tomahawk, and if it's something you're gonna add to your Glock collection. All right, guys, I'm out of here. Hmm.